Hey guys, and welcome to another digital media check-in. So today I wanted to give you a quick update on the latest and greatest happening inside of digital media, social media, and um, everything that's kind of falling under that umbrella right now. I always talk about the umbrella, but there seem to be a lot more advances happening. And that's because I think we're in this moment of huge digital transformation and the need for human connection has increased and it's very obvious why we've been in a pandemic for over a year. I mean, it's like actually a year to date. And I think what it's done is it has forced us to kind of go into this mode of thinking and this need of connecting. We've been on Zoom. We've been um, on every kind of like video component meetup platform, whether it's for work, whether it's for school, um, even medicine and health. Uh, if you're meeting or trying to get an appointment with even your healthcare provider, a lot of those different connections are happening over video. So we're seeing that video has become one of the most important elements inside of what we're calling the digital transformation. So in the last couple of podcast episodes, I've also been talking a lot about audio and social audio and how that's becoming one of the most popular um, elements and features to a lot of different platforms. A lot of platforms are trying to strive to get to the social media, uh, social audio component. So I think one of the leading platforms I've been talking about is Clubhouse. And so Clubhouse has been leading by really providing this, um, you know, exclusivity um, invite only. It's still what they would call a beta phase, which means it's still in a testing phase, um, but it's becoming a lot more widely um, used and a lot more invites are going out. So the exclusivity of it is kind of going away because more people are being invited in. Um, they're working on making it compatible for um, Android because currently it's only iPhone. And so the other platforms that are kind of like neck and neck and trying to um, compete, we had Twitter Spaces was actually coming up second. Twitter Spaces is releasing a lot more to different people um, inside of the Twitter network. So I was one of those people doing that um, testing beta phase, but it seems to be um, releasing out to a lot more people inside of Twitter. So if you haven't experienced Twitter Spaces yet, it works a little bit like Clubhouse, but it's expanding inside of your social network. And um, to get more details on this, you know, you can log into some of my other podcasts, which you can find on iTunes and Spotify and also on this YouTube channel, just to get a little bit more of an idea of how it works. Um, the latest news, and this was something we touched on probably a few weeks ago, but Facebook is now moving into trying to get audio into their platform. Apparently, it's been something they've been working on for a long time, but never released it uh, or never got it to the level of where they're trying to go now. And I think it's an amazing idea. I think it'll really be super valuable for groups. And I know because I am a uh, group administrator for different groups. And I think that with video rooms, because a lot of the platforms have these video room components and, you know, Instagram has this ability to do like live with three or four people inside of your, you know, it's almost like inside of like your DMs in a way. Um, I think video is great, but I think because of how much we're using video, it's almost um, pushed people into feeling so much better about using social audio, which it means it's almost like using your phone. You know, it's like getting back to my phone and talking on my phone. And this way, I mean, you know, I'm camera ready here, but if I want to do social audio and I want to hop on any of these apps, including, you know, if Facebook does come out with audio, I can use that component inside of my group, which would be amazing. I don't have to be video ready. And a lot of times video is a different animal. It's, it's, um, you know, there are a lot of like behaviors and psychology that go into, um, you know, how people are or how they act. Like, you know, like if you're, if you're a college professor or if you're a student, a lot of times students keep their video off and there are reasons for that. You know, there's almost like this intrusive vulnerability thing that happens inside of video. So it's very consuming. You know, I think that if you talk to a lot of people who've been working from home too, you hear a lot of people saying like, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted from video. I'm exhausted from being on Zooms back to back. 
So there's a lot behind that. And I think this is the moment now where social audio is going to skyrocket. And I'm, I'm so excited for the Facebook audio component. And this is really good for um, every type of industry, every type of business. You know, like if you're launching a product, if you're launching um, an event, even like online virtual events, you know, um, a lot of times when you go to conferences, you know, you always hear people talk about these breakout rooms, like people go into these separate areas and rooms, fireside chats, um, online q and I mean, it's the, the, the opportunities and the pieces to this are endless. There's a very wonderful strategy that could be uh, built around how to use social audio for any type of event business industry. And so that was today's check-in. I wanted to just kind of do an overview again and just talk about those latest um, things coming out of Facebook. And like I said, uh, and you know, again, I keep referencing my past podcasts or videos, but I always say Facebook dominates. It's still dominating. Facebook pages for businesses, a very slow, slow moving um, element. You know, they lost that kind of momentum. And I don't know if they're waiting for something to kind of bring that momentum back. You definitely need your Facebook pages. Like if you're a business, Facebook's still dominating. You need those pages. If you're a local business, you need your Facebook page. And there's a ton of statistics behind that about community. And especially now when you're in this moment of a pandemic and you're a business, and you decide to fold Facebook pages because you feel like there's not enough momentum or you're trying to condense, there are statistics behind all of that to back it up. So uh, recommendation of the week, don't get rid of your Facebook pages. And to learn more about the social audio and to kind of get more of what's happening, follow me on Instagram. I'll be doing more updates here on YouTube, but also um, you can follow our business page on Instagram, MFM Media. And that's where we're posting a lot more of the um, business and features and tool um, updates. And um, if you have any thoughts or comments, or you want to email me, or if you want to talk strategy, um, definitely, you know, just connect with me. I'm available on all the platforms and you'll be able to connect. Thanks everybody. Talk to you soon.